Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Tom Jameson from TomJameson.com. In today's video, we'll be focusing on changing the permalink structure of your blog if you have an existing blog. And basically, it's based on my last post. Um, recently, I had written this post entitled WordPress SEO, Three Amazingly Simple Tips, and it generated quite a bit of discussion. Thank you so much to everyone that left a comment. Um, I do enjoy reading them and responding to them, so please keep doing that. And as part of this post, I had written this section here called WordPress SEO starts with choosing the right URL structure, where I talked about how to set up your permalinks and your slugs to be WordPress SEO friendly. Now, I did get a question in the comment section that actually caused me to do some research, and I even updated my post here to talk about it. So thank you, Lisa, for the great question that caused me to go back and make some changes to my own blog. And I wanted to write about it, uh, record a video about it here. And basically, Lisa's question was, Tom, can you change permalink structure after 300 posts, or will it change the links? And the question, the answer is yes. You can change your permalink structure on an existing blog, regardless of how many previous posts that you have. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go into your back end, your admin dashboard, and you want to click on settings and, oops, sorry about that. You're going to go to settings, permalinks. And what this does is it'll bring you to the permalink portion of your admin panel. And the one that I recommend choosing is this one labeled post name. Now you can choose any one that you like, whatever makes you happy. Uh, but as far as being SEO friendly in your WordPress blog, this is the best one. Because what it does is it places your blog URL at the beginning and your slug at the end. And that's it. It's nice, short, neat, easy for the search engines to read and crawl. Uh, it's going to get you ranked better. So that's the one that I uh, suggest that you pick. So you pick that one and you click Save Changes. Then the next thing that you want to do is go over to the Yoast homepage. Now I happen to use the Yoast SEO plugin, so I came across this pretty easily. Um, but Anybody can use this, regardless of which SEO plugin or framework or theme you're using. Now, right here, you want to go to this website, which is yoast.com slash change dash WordPress dash permalink dash structure. Or if you can't remember that, just do a Google search and you'll come up with this particular post on the first page, how to change your WordPress permalink structure. And when you scroll down to the bottom, it's a great read, by the way. Uh, but when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's a nice big orange button right here that says Generate Redirects. When you click on that button, you come up with this box here about how to create redirects. It's actually pretty simple. There's only three places uh, here, three pieces of information that you need to fill in. Um, the first one being the URL of your website or your blog, which obviously for me is TomJameson.com. If you're running your WordPress on a folder or a subfolder of your blog, then you're going to want to put it here. Now I have my WordPress installation right on my homepage, TomJameson.com, so I'm going to leave this box blank. And then what you do here is you pick your old permalink structure, the one that you weren't happy with, the one that you're changing. Now for me, that was the day and name, so I would click on that one. But go ahead and pick the one that's uh, correct for you, and then click Generate Redirect. What this does is now it has created a 301 redirect for you. All you do is you highlight this code, you copy it, and you go to your HT access folder. Now, for me, for me, I can change my .ht access file right here within my dashboard because I use the Yoast SEO plugin. Uh, you may not be able to do that. You may have to use a, a, an FTP client or go into your hosting service to do it. But either way, however you're able to change it, uh, for me, uh, like I said, is the uh, SEO plugin that I use. I can just click on Edit Files. 
Once you have your HT access file open, all you have to do is up here at the top, place that line of code, and click Save Changes. Once you've done that, all of your previous permalinks will now show up looking like your new permalinks. They'll all get redirected, and it's actually very quick, very simple, very easy to do. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you out. Let me know. Other than that, this video is now ended. I do appreciate you watching it. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Again, this is Tom Jameson, TomJameson.com.